Hello anatomy colleagues, this is Dr. Alsup, and in this video we will be discussing how to identify some of the muscles within the muscle compartments of the leg. So leg is key here, as well as any pertinent neurovasculature. Recall when we say the leg, we mean this portion from the knee to the ankle region. We don't mean the entire lower limb, which is what it sometimes means colloquially. And we're gonna start with the anterior compartment of the leg, which recall from the learning objective that these muscles in this muscle compartment are located or directed more anterolaterally as the actual tibia, which you can see right here, is prominent more medially. So the muscles in this anterior compartment are a bit more lateral. When looking at a more superficial dissection of the anterior compartment of the leg, the dominant muscle that is visible is the tibialis anterior. Sometimes you hear anterior tibialis, um, same muscle. So this is the dominant muscle you can see from this particular view. You can see the tendon extending medially here. If you look at the foot, you can see a tendon that's kind of spreading out into four tendons. And that's going to be the tendons for the extensor digitorum longus muscle. So spreading to digits two through five. Um, so you can see those there. Now with the tibialis anterior muscle removed or reflected like we have on this dissection, you can see the muscle bellies of the other muscles of the an of the other muscles within the anterior compartment of the leg with the extensor digitorum longus muscle here to the EDL. Um, you can see it and you can follow. It has a very prominent tendon that's going to spread out into the four tendons spreading towards the to the phalanges of the foot. You can also see right in this region here, the complex of neurovasculature that is going to innervate or supply this region. So that's going to be the deep fibular or peroneal nerve traveling with the anterior tibial artery anterior to the interosseous membrane. So let me erase this right here. And so you can see actually pretty well the interosseous membrane right there. So that's the interosseous membrane that connects the tibia and the fibula and that anterior tibial artery and the deep fibular peroneal or peroneal nerve will travel uh, right there in order to supply this compartment. So if you see neurovasculature in the deep anterior leg, you know you are looking at these particular structures here. All right, moving to the lateral compartment of the leg. This is the smallest compartment of the leg with only two muscles. The fibularis longus, which I'm just going to draw a line. So the fibularis longus is located more superficially, sitting on top of the shorter and deeper fibularis brevis, or peroneus brevis, you'll hear that as well. Also prominent from this view, so we're looking at a straight lateral view of the leg, you can also see muscles from the anterior compartment as well as muscles from the posterior compartment because the muscles in both these compartments, particularly the posterior, are quite large in comparison to the lateral compartment, which is located in this general region. Now the superficial fibular or peroneal nerve innervates the lateral compartment of the leg, but we can't really see that nerve here. What you can see is the common fibular or peroneal nerve that is going to kind of come out or exit the popliteal fossa, and it will dive deep and wrap around the fibular head or the head of the fibula. So you can see that this nerve is relatively close to the surface and that might endanger this nerve or make it um, uh, more likely to be damaged. Right after, or right just distal to the head of the fibula, it splits into the superficial fibular and deep fibular or peroneal nerve that we saw on the previous slide. Lastly, let's turn our attentions to the posterior compartment, which is the largest compartment of the leg, and it's actually composed of two subcompartments. 
By far the largest and most prominent is the superficial subcompartment of the leg. And this is composed of two very large muscles. You'll have the two-headed gastrocnemius muscle, which is also superficial, and the deeper soleus muscle. Um, and these two, and you can see a portion of the soleus here, if you reflected the gastrocnemius, you would see it doesn't extend as um, superiorly as the gastrocnemius. And these two muscles will share a common distal tendon, which will be the calcaneal, or often you hear it referred to as the Achilles tendon, which is hard to miss in this region. It's easily palpable as well in the posterior ankle region. There is also a deep subcompartment of the posterior leg as well, but we are not as concerned with you being able to differentiate uh, between the different muscles <clears throat> in terms of identification as the muscle bellies are honestly quite difficult to tell apart, but you can see the neurovasculature in this compartment from this deeper dissection. And so that neurovasculature is sitting on top of the muscles of this deep subcompartment. So this neurovasculature, <clears throat> excuse me, my, my voice is trying to leave. Uh, so this neurovasculature includes the tibial nerve, which is the larger terminal branch of the sciatic nerve, as well as the posterior tibial artery, which is a terminal branch of the popliteal or popliteal artery. You can also see the um, posterior tibial veins as well following the artery very closely. So if you see any neurovasculature in this deep posterior region, it will be the tibial nerve and posterior tibial vasculature. You can even see here, we know we're looking posterior because um, we have a bit of that cut calcaneal tendon right here. Excellent, thank you so much for your time and attention uh, as we discuss the muscle compartments of the leg. Please always, always feel free to reach out with any questions and I hope you have a great rest of your day.